How to Make a Website with Free Hosting and Domain. Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your very own WordPress website, completely free, with no cost for hosting and no cost for the domain either. Yep, you heard that right. Totally free. And we're going to do it using a platform called Pantheon. So let's dive in. First, open up any browser and search for Pantheon, or you can go directly to pantheon.io. Once you're on the site, look up at the top right and click on Log In. And since we don't have an account yet, go ahead and click Create Free Account. Now you can sign up using your email or to make things easier, just continue with Google like I'm doing. It's way faster. Once you've connected your Google account, Pantheon will ask for your basic info, your first and last name, and the provided fields. After that, select your country from the drop-down menu. Once you've filled in those details, go ahead and check the box to agree to Pantheon's Terms of Service. When everything looks good, click on the Continue button to move forward. After clicking Continue, you'll be taken to your Pantheon dashboard, also known as your Pantheon workspace. This is where you'll manage all of your websites in one convenient place. From this workspace, you can begin by creating your very first site. Pantheon makes the entire setup process simple and beginner-friendly, so even if you're new to website building, you won't feel overwhelmed. Once your site is up and running, WordPress will work just like you're used to, except now it's hosted on Pantheon's powerful infrastructure. This means you'll benefit from faster load times, automatic backups, and access to advanced developer tools that can help you scale and manage your website more efficiently. Whether you're building a personal blog, a business site, or something more advanced, Pantheon provides the performance and flexibility you need to grow confidently. Now we're inside the Pantheon dashboard. You'll be able to build up to three sites completely free, which is awesome. To create your WordPress site, click on Sites from the menu on the left, and then click Create New Site. You'll get a couple of options here, but we're going to pick WordPress since that's what we're working with today. All right, time to give your site a name. I'm naming mine Stephanie Williams, but you can go with anything you like. Then pick a region, just choose the one closest to your audience, and click Continue. Now, Pantheon's going to start installing WordPress for you. This will take a minute or two, not long at all. Once that's done, click on Visit Your Pantheon Dashboard. From here, you'll see a button that says Visit Development Site. Click that. Now we're at the standard WordPress setup screen, the one you've probably seen before if you've installed WordPress in the past. The first step here is to choose your preferred language from the list. Once you've selected it, click on the Continue button to move forward. Next, you'll be asked to enter some basic information about your new website. Start by giving your site a title. This can be anything you want, like the name of your brand, blog, or business. Then create a username. And a strong password that you'll use to log into your WordPress admin dashboard. It's really important to remember or securely save this login information because you'll need it every time you want to make changes to your site or add new content. Once you've filled everything out, click on the Install WordPress button. The installation process only takes a few seconds. After it's complete, you'll see a success message with a button that says Log In. Click that, then enter the username, then password you just set up. And just like that, you're inside the WordPress dashboard. From here, you can start customizing your site, choosing themes, installing plugins, and adding content. You're now in full control of your WordPress website running on Pantheon's powerful hosting platform. At this point, it's just like having any other WordPress site. You can use the default WordPress editor or install plugins like Elementor or Starter Templates to make designing easier. You can visit your live site by clicking the site title at the top and choosing Visit Site. Right now, your site will have the default WordPress theme. If you want to change that, head back into the dashboard. Go to Appearance and start customizing. Let's do a basic homepage setup. Head over to the Pages section in your WordPress dashboard. Here you'll notice that WordPress has already created a default sample page for you. Let's go ahead and customize that. Hover over the sample page and click on Quick Edit. In the title field, change the name to Home and update the slug to Home as well. 
This will help ensure that your homepage URL looks clean and professional. Once you've made those changes, click Update to save them. Next, click on Edit under that same page to open up the full WordPress block editor. This is where the fun really begins. You now have a blank canvas to start building your homepage just the way you want it. Inside the editor, you can start adding content like text, images, videos, and even embedded YouTube links, whatever you need to create the perfect first impression for your site visitors. If you see any default blocks or placeholder content you don't need, simply click on them and press delete to remove them. To add new elements, click on the plus icon in the top left corner of the editor. This opens up the block inserter, where you can choose from a wide variety of content blocks, like paragraphs, images, headings, lists, buttons, and more. You can drag and drop them directly into your page, or just click to insert them where your cursor is placed. Take your time exploring the editor and playing around with different blocks to see what works best for your design. WordPress makes it super flexible and easy to create a homepage that looks great and reflects your style. Let's say I want to add an image. I'll click on Upload, pick an image from my desktop, and insert it into the page. Once you're happy with your changes, click Update on the top right to save. You can now go back to your dashboard and preview the page live. This is what your homepage will look like to visitors. You can keep adding pages, customizing your theme, and designing it however you want. Now here's something to note. While Pantheon gives you a free domain, it's going to look like a subdomain. For example, something like your site name.pantheonsite.io. If you want a custom domain, something like xyz.com, you'll need to upgrade to a paid plan or buy a domain from a provider like GoDaddy or Namecheap and connect it manually. Pantheon does have affordable upgrade plans if you decide to go that route. You can manage all your domain and HTTPS settings from the Domains slash HTTPS tab inside your site settings on Pantheon. But if you're happy with a free subdomain for now, you don't need to worry about any of that. All right, let's go back to WordPress and do a bit more editing. I'll type a short intro here, something like, Hi, I'm Stephanie, and I help you with everything you need to know. I'll style this text a bit, maybe make it bold or change the font size. If you want to clean up the page, you can delete any default blocks you don't need. Just click on the block, hit the three dots, and choose Delete. Super easy. Keep building out your home page by adding content that fits your brand. Text, photos, testimonials, whatever you like. And that's it. You now have a fully functional WordPress site that's hosted for free using Pantheon. You didn't need to pay for hosting, and you didn't need to worry about buying a domain, unless you want to later. I hope this walkthrough helped you out. If it did, be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. I've got more tutorials like this coming soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.